Hello my loves, welcome to day two of my Spring Forward series and click anywhere on the screen to check out yesterday's video in case you missed it. And today we're gonna to be cleaning out my closet and I'm gonna give you my go-to tips for creating a wardrobe full of your favorite pieces while making room for some spring shopping. Here's today's question and stay until the end to get some great outfit ideas from yesterday's video that you guys sent through on Twitter. Don't forget to check back tomorrow to see if your answer to today's question is in tomorrow's video and let's get on to the video. So tip number one is go big or go home. Over the years I've learned that if I don't dedicate a full weekend to editing my closet, I will leave piles of clothes all over the floor for days, if not months. Tip number two, arm yourself with the essentials. Water, coffee, Pinterest fashion boards for inspiration and motivation, and good music or Netflix. I also do my hair and makeup even though I barely leave the room because there is nothing worse than drying on clothes and trying to assess if I like them with dark circles under my eyes and greasy hair. I'm just saying. Tip number three, I go section by section instead of bulldozing my entire closet so it's not overwhelming. I put everything into three piles. Recently worn and still love, anything that's pregnancy related because that's kind of, you know, my, my stage of life right now, but it could be like a discard pile or a donate pile or things that I need to try on still. Rarely does anything go into the discard donate pile at this point, but you never know, I still have it there. After that, I hang up the clothes I know I'm keeping and try on all my other clothes. If you can, have a buddy who can help you decide if something fits right, looks good, or needs to be donated. Since all my friends are away and Chris is useless with this kind of thing, I just end up texting friends pictures of outfits I'm not sure about. When I'm trying on my clothes, I try and be brutally honest with myself and ask the following questions. Have I worn it recently? Does it fit? Can I come up with three different outfits to wear it with? And does it match my style in the rest of my wardrobe? If my answer is no to at least half of these, I donate it or it becomes what I call a lend. Because sometimes I can get a little bit attached to my clothes, I've developed a system with my sister and sisters-in-law where I have specific articles of clothing that I give to them on lend. If in three months I want it back, I can have it. If I forget or realize I don't need it, then it's all theirs. It really helps me pick apart my wardrobe because it feels less permanent, if that makes any sense. And that's pretty much it. I go through section by section until I'm completely done. If you have a few friends and you're all around the same size, try throwing a closet edit party. Bring all your donate and lender clothes. Just put an L in your initials, small on the underside of the tag, and it's a great way to get some new pieces and give your lesser worn items a good home. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and share it with your friends that might need a kick in the pants to clean out their wardrobe. Thank you so so much for watching and subscribing and I will see you guys all tomorrow as part of my series. Love you girls. Here are the amazing outfit photos and ideas you guys sent through on Twitter. Thank you so much. I hope you get some inspiration from the loves fam and don't forget to send in your photos and tweets of your favorite healthy foods, recipes, or activities for tomorrow's video.